Hi friends, my name is Dr. Lori Cayley. I am a functional medicine practitioner and I help women who have thyroid conditions such as hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's reverse their symptoms naturally so that they are experiencing optimal health and they are feeling like themselves again. This morning I wanted to come on here to talk to you about a common condition with hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's that is commonly overlooked. I have been talking to several women this past week that have told me that they think that they're doing all the right things. They have changed their diet so that they are not consuming dairy, gluten, or soy anymore. They have managed their blood sugar. They are taking supplements that they have heard is good for thyroid hormone production, like selenium and zinc and vitamin A and vitamin D. But their meds aren't working and what they're doing with their diet supplements hasn't changed anything and they can't lose weight and they are still experiencing the same symptoms that they have like brain fog, cold hands and cold feet, fatigue, weight gain, and all of the other symptoms that go along with hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's. One thing that is commonly overlooked is anemia. And anemia is very common with women who have hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's. So if you have anemia and your doctor hasn't told you or hasn't even looked for it on blood work, which is very common because they typically don't, then you're not ever going to be able to reverse your thyroid condition. The anemia has to be taken care of and managed first before you could ever reverse any type of thyroid condition. So let's just talk about the symptoms of anemia first. And those are chest pain, cold extremities, depression, dizziness, irregular heartbeat, lightheadedness, fatigue, muscle weakness, foggy mind, headaches, and pale skin. And just so that you know what anemia is, anemia will block cells from receiving oxygen. So you're not getting oxygen to the cells, which is just not good because then your body can't function properly. So there are several different types of anemia. And this is where many people just, and even doctors just don't really understand what's going on because they don't understand the different types of anemia. Most people understand or have heard of iron deficiency anemia and they think that just taking iron is gonna fix their anemia. However, there are different types. Some of them are microcytic, hyperchromic anemia, anemia of blood loss, iron deficiency anemia, anemia of inflammation and chronic disease, and sideroblastic anemia. And there's different patterns that we look for on blood work beneath each one of those to be able to determine exactly what's going on. So if you're not getting the proper blood work, if your doctor's not ordering the proper blood work for you to look at for these different patterns, then you are never going to be able to get your hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's under control. So the blood work that I always get for my clients will include just looking for iron deficiency anemia, that is, is RBC, hemoglobin, hematocrit, MCV, MCH, MCHC, RDW, iron, iron saturation, ferritin, TIBC, and transferrin. And those all will show different patterns in anemia. So when I took a functional medicine class last year on blood work, understanding blood work, we spent nine hours on anemia. That's how extensive it is. So if your doctor doesn't completely understand what is going on with anemia, you're never gonna get better if you have anemia or if they're not even, they don't even know what to look for. So if you think that just taking iron is gonna possibly fix your anemia, that's not a good solution either because if you don't have iron deficiency anemia and it's another anemia, you can overload on iron and that's something that you never wanna do because then it can become toxic. So not only looking for that on blood work, you have to get the right thyroid hormones looked at as well. So remember to get free T3, free T4, total T3, total T4, reverse T3, TSH, and thyroid antibodies when you are assessing a thyroid condition. So all of this has to 
come into play when your doctor is assessing your blood work. And functional medicine doctors look at blood work very differently than what typical medical doctors do. We have narrower ranges so that we can look at patterns in blood work and it all works together. So if you think that you may have anemia because you're not getting better with your thyroid condition despite trying all these different things and your medication's not working, then you need to talk to a doctor that really understands what can be going on with thyroid conditions. And I offer a free 30 minute consultation. So I have it linked in the description of this video. And if you would like to speak with me and see if I could possibly help you to manage your thyroid condition and reverse it, I would love to speak with you on the phone. So just use that link, book a time with me, and I will talk to you soon.